Hey guys, it's Sakura. Um, this is my first video ever. Sorry for opening that. This is my first video ever. Um, please tell me what I did right and what I did wrong. Um, please be very specific in your comments on what I need to improve. I can't get better if I don't know what's wrong. So, I pretty much made this channel to do basic signature tutorials for some people in the design clan that I'm in. You can find us at exiledesign.com. Um, it's really, it's a large, Exiled Gaming is a large gaming community. We are just a design clan within that community. So check us out. I'll post a link in the description. So today I'm going to do a basic text animation tutorial. So new document, whatever size you want it to be. Get some text on there. I'm going to write Sakura. Real simple. Yours will be whatever you want it to be. Center it, put it wherever you want it to be before you do the animation. This is very important because once you do the animation, it is a pain to edit things after you get all of the frames created. You will have to delete and redo and delete and redo over and over. So make sure you have everything the way you want it and exactly where you want it before you do this animation. Alright, you have your text. Go to Window, Open Animation. Right here, your first frame. Any editing that you do needs to be done in this frame before you start any animation. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a t the text come in and then leave that way. Or it can go anyway, it can go up, down, diagonal, whatever. So, first we're going to start by putting our text all the way over there. Come down here, duplicate the layer, and you're going to come up here while in that second frame you're going to come up here use your arrow keys to bring this text all the way in to wherever you want to place make sure you use your arrow keys to keep it nice and lined up we'll stop it right about there then you're going to come down and you're going to tween it's this little button that has about three four lined up circles right there the number of frames you choose depends on how much detail you want in your animation. If you choose five, it'll be not very much detail, but it won't be as big of a file size. The more frames you add, the bigger the file size gets. So 15 is a good number, has some good detail, and doesn't really take up that much room. So go ahead and do 15. Make sure it is tween with previous frame, because you want the text to come in from the outside inwards. So, I don't know why this changed. Alright, 15. Click OK. And then you'll see that as I click through, the text comes in. So go ahead and press play. As you can see, that's extremely fast. If you want to change the time, I suggest you do it on your first frame. You'll click this little thing down here. And it will be you can choose a time. Whatever you time you choose for the first frame counts for all the frames. And as you can see, zero seconds is really quite fast. So we're going to go down here and change this. And rather than clicking every single one, you click right here, select all frames, and then just change one of them. I personally like point zero point two. It's a nice um, it's a nice time. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. And here it is right here. You can mess around with it. Make it whatever you like. You can even choose other and put in your own amount of time. Moving on, you see that it comes from outside and goes right here and then restarts. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this last layer by clicking this little button right here. Duplicate it once so when it gets there, it stays there for a second. Duplicate it again, and what you're going to do on this layer, you're going to use your arrow keys to bring the text back off the screen. We're going to have it come in from this way and then leave back that way. So just get it all the way over. It takes a few seconds. Once you have that, we're going to tween again 
I would suggest using the same amount of frames so it has the same amount of detail on both sides. Go ahead and press OK, make sure it's previous frame, and go ahead and tween. And this is what we have after we press play. It comes in, it stops for a second, and leaves. If you want it to stop there longer, you add more duplicates of where it actually fully comes in and stops. So this would be, looks like, frames 17 and 18, so you can duplicate that a couple times, it'll stay there a few seconds longer. Come up here and watch. When it gets there, it stays there a few seconds longer. Really all just depends on how long you want it to stay there. Like I said, this can go from here all the way over, you can scroll across all day long. You can go up and down all day long, however you like it. Let's go ahead and stop this. Now, to save, you're going to want to save for web and devices. As soon as it opens, press play, make sure it's what you want. Okay, it looks good. Go ahead and stop. Make sure the looping options are set on forever. Unless you only want it to do its animation once, then I personally don't like that, but it's whatever you want. So I choose forever, always, because no matter how long you're looking at the signature, it's going to do the same animation over and over. So this is how you save for web and devices. Go ahead and save it. That's where you will upload for photo bucket or wherever you upload. Go ahead and do that. Make sure you also save it as a Photoshop document because that does not save it as a Photoshop document. I truly hope this helped someone with just some real basic text animation. I will come through with some videos on some other animation later. Like I said, please comment on what I did right, what I did wrong, and let me know what you think. Thanks guys!